sorry about that. I don't know how far I got in my story. Yeah, um, well, one night uh, I went into labour. I had terrible back pains. And Peter was with me, obviously, at the time. But when he came come to visit me the next day, um, again, he was in the corridor was the consultant having a go at the doctors that was on duty that night saying you know they should have called him in and there was no reason for it and all sorts I hope you're not going to cut out again um yeah so we, it ha needn't have happened we could have taken it further but you don't at the time do you anyway when I was eventually discharged, I lost six units of blood. Yeah, a lot of blood. I had to have that replaced. Um, and then oh, I'm going to keep an eye on this so it don't cut out. Um, they stuck me on the private ward with a load of other mums that had had their babies. I was in a I was in a room, but they wouldn't let me close my door. I suspect they thought I was going to top myself, I thought, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, when I went home, all my baby stuff was still laying there. And, uh, you know, I said to Pete at the time, I said, because uh, this was 1984, and Cabbage Patch Dolls were just over here in the UK. And I said to him, I want one just to put in the cot. And he looked at me as though I was absolutely balmy, really balmy. My mum wanted him to clear everything away, but he said, no, I, you know, it was, he thought it was best for me to sort of see it there and not just clear it all away. And what I, so I can understand, I can understand perfectly well people wanting a replacement baby. And it's not really a replacement as such, but they want something to cuddle. And the worst feeling in the world after the birth, was walking back across the car park and you've not got a, you've not got a baby to take home. Hmm, really bad. But it all ended out, you know, I went on, I went up to, they never give you a reason why. They say it happens a lot with first babies. That's what they told me. Go on to have another one. No reason why not. So... Less than a year later, I had Josie, so and it was all perfectly fine. No reason, no no worries, no nothing. So there you are. That is, I can understand it. They don't replace. They're not a substitute. Can can you do you know what I'm saying? You can't. Yeah, they don't replace, but they're there. They help. They help. I didn't get one at the time. And I would have loved something to have cuddled, but no, just get on with it. That's what, you know, that's practically what they meant when they said to me, um, go on and have another one. <laughs> anyway, there's my Annie. What do you think? Do you think they can replace babies? Real babies? I love this. Look at this, it's got little birds all over it. So... I don't know how I'm going to do this because the video cut out. So you'll probably have to have a part one and a part two if I can't splice it together. Isn't she bonny? The nappy still hasn't turned up, Suzanne. I will, hopefully it might come today. If it does, I'll make a quick video of it and show you what it's like. Um, this is an, a, for you that don't know what I'm talking about, this is a nappy I've ordered off of eBay. And it's cloth nappy, but it ties around. Hmm. Yeah. It looks very snug, so I don't know what, it, what it's going to be like. We'll see. Because ordinary cloth nappies are too bulky for her. Too bulky for your puppet, aren't they? Don't poke yourself in the eye. Eh? Right, I'll go and see if I can upload both parts in one. If not, it'll be in two. Bye-bye.